morning. This is Brother Oscar York once again with chatting from the chair. Um, I hope that everyone had a good week last week and a good first day of the week yesterday. I know many was in celebrate mode when it comes to uh, what the world may consider Easter. And in so many ways, that's a positive. In so many ways, it is a negative. Uh, because if we truly are students of the word, we can see that Christ did not tell us to basically celebrate his death on a certain date. We actually don't know when Christ did rise from the dead. We know he did. Uh, let Brother York let you know he, we know he did, but the Bible exclusively doesn't say anything about when he rose from the grave. I'm glad he did. And we in the body of Christ, we observe or celebrate that every first day of the week when we partake of the Lord's Supper, something that Christ says for us to do. And we see in Acts 27, they did it on the first day. And in 1 Corinthians 11, beginning with verse 23, uh, the Bible says that you keep reading, as often as you do this in remembrance of me. So basically, we, we uh, observe it often, which is on the first day of the week. Now, uh, once a year observance, but every Sunday when we come together to partake of the Lord's Supper. That's all where you're going to say on that. I, I don't want to be a, a voice of gloom and doom this morning, but I want to be a voice of hope and praise for the Lord this morning. Uh, we want to thank Him for, for giving us a life this morning and Giving us another day. You know, yesterday, today, was just, on yesterday, this day, wasn't even much promise to us. But since it's here and God gave us this day, we want to thank him first of all for it. But if you live where I live in, in uh, Miamisburg, Ohio, we woke up this morning to some snow on the ground. This is supposed to be springtime, but if you live in Ohio, you know how the weather can change from time to time. So we, we woke up to some snow this morning. And I don't mind it, sure, you know, as long as I can, uh, God has blessed me with a roof over my head and, and, and a place to live and to protect me from the elements of all the things that this weather uh, uh, may, uh, may bring. Next, I want to say that we hope and pray this morning that you are enjoying our show. We hope and pray that uh, we are making an impact in your life. I, I, I hope and pray that I have uh, this program help, help you along uh, your, your journey and your walk in Jesus Christ. That, that's my main goal here this morning is to help, if I can help others to uh, 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 better their lives in Christ and to learn more about the Word. I, I want to do that. I, I Bill York doesn't claim he knows everything, but I, I just hope and pray that I am making a difference in your life when it comes to uh, Jesus Christ. We hope and pray that we are doing that. And I hope and pray that you are tuning in to the show. Last Monday was, uh, I believe it was Sister Mary Eccles who after the show, she said she really enjoying the show, and I hope and pray that that the uh, others uh, is enjoying the show. I hope and pray that you are, are learning from it, and, and let me know. It's nothing wrong with encouraging one another. I I try to make a habit of myself to uh, to encourage other brothers to have a, a show on like I do from time to time, and I watch their show, and I learn from them. We, we're supposed to be learning from each other, and 
And I'm learning a lot from brothers who, who does a show in the like manner that I have. Uh, next, I want to kind of, I don't know if this is going to dapper your day or make you sad or happy, but uh, I want to make some changes to the show. Uh, the change that I want, want to make is I want to get rid of this chair. This chair, you know, it's getting very uncomfortable. And, and I've been thinking about uh, uh, changing the title of the show to Chatting from the Word. Uh, if, if that would fit in your uh, uh, day, uh, Chanting from the Word. Now, I believe that that may have a more uh, 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 better uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a better grip of what people uh, uh, can see, because that's what we are, are, are talking about: is God's divine word, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which gives you hope for salvation. We hope and pray that we have been an instrument uh, to do that uh, in your lives. We pray. Uh, that uh, uh, the, the, the show again making a difference. Uh, we also want to say we need subscribers. If you're watching the show, subscribe to the show. We need subscribers. We uh, uh, need uh, subscribers. And then when you subscribe, let us know how you're enjoying the show. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't have too many thumbs down, so I'm not going to pat myself on my back, but I give all praise and glory to him that created us and made us and Jesus Christ. That's why I give all the uh, glory to on uh, this uh, morning. Um, there was something else that I want to mention and, and is, is, uh, I want to um, mention that of course the change of the show to chatting from the word, we mentioned that, and uh, 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 others uh, I do want to mention, and it's crossing my mind, but uh, I'll get to that later on. But as I say, we hope and pray that you are enjoying the show and getting something from the show and learning uh, from chatting from, it used to be the chair, but we're going to change it to chatting from the word. Will you pray with me, please? Our Father, which art in heaven. Father, we so thank you that you're from everlasting to everlasting. Father, we thank you that you hear our cry when we call on you. Father, we thank you for that. We, Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you, Father, for the many benefits that you have brought our way. Father, Father, we Thank you for your son, Jesus, that died on the cross that we, through his unselfish act, may have salvation. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for waking us up, Father. We recognize it. It, it wasn't our alarm clocks or our better half that woke up this, us up this morning, but it was you with your finger of love that woke us up and shook us up this morning and got us on our way, Father. We we thank you for that, Father. We thank you for all the, the many viewers are watching this show, Father. We pray that you be with them. Help them through the problems that they are facing, whatever it may be. Brother York may not know, but Father, we know that you know. And you know their needs, and you, and, and we, you know what they uh, are suffering with, Father. So we pray that you be with each viewer that is watching this program for all that we pray for those that are in the nursing homes all like sister becky we pray that you be with her father because i recognize that when we have a change in life it sometimes it goes easy sometimes it don't so far we pray for all those that are in the nursing homes uh, this morning pray for all those that are behind prison bars father we pray that you help them to if they don't know you is to find you father in Jesus' name, we pray for those. Father, we pray for uh, so many, so many that is, needs prayer this morning, Father. Father, we pray for those that are homeless. We pray for those that don't know where they're going to get their next meal from. We 
pray, Father, for those who are lost in sin. We pray, Father, for those who don't know you. We pray that uh, they get to know you. We pray, Father, for the lesson that we have in our hearts and minds. We pray that never return to you, Lord, that may find a lodging place in somebody's heart this morning. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. On this morning, we're still doing our series on uh, the Old Testament and the New Testament. And as always, if you are taking notes, your notes should read oh, the Old Testament slash the, the New Testament. And we want you to do a, just a surface, I'm trying to do a surface study on the Old Testament. Yeah, if we can go deeper into the Old Testament to basically see what is truly teaching when it is coming, uh, uh, when it comes to the Old Testament. And on last week, I believe it was last week, a brother from India, I believe he's from India, named Jada, Brother Jones. Uh, I got it written right here, Brother Jelder Jones. And John, Jelder John, I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. And, and don't get upset with Brother Oscar here. I'm trying my best. But it's Brother Jelder Jones. He asked me a question that, and the reason why I want to deal with it this morning, because it, 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 it has... A impact in the Old Testament, I believe. And if I'm wrong, uh, some of y'all preachers correct, Brother York. I, I, I'm trying to do my best here. But uh, the question he asked, and I'm trying, I, I think I, I lost a little bit of something in the translation of what he was trying to ask. But he asked the question, when or uh, will we be uh, purified by the blood of Jesus? Uh, uh, and the way I took it, that he was the fact that how do we become in contact uh, with with the blood? And of course, I, I think I, I, I went to J uh, uh, John, where John talks about the water, the blood, and the spirit. And uh, I don't think he has, uh, he, he, first he said no, and then when I told him that, that's the o only thing I can think of. But I went to study that thing again. You know, brother, if you know about brother York, you know, that if something is, is, is amiss, he's going to try to find some answers. So uh, I went back, and I, and I believe I got some answers for him uh, this morning. So, Brother brother John, if you're watching, if you're watching, turn to Exodus 30 with me. And uh, we ain't going to take too long on this because I want to really uh, finish the, the, the lessons on the, the, the Old Testament, the New Testament. But, but turn with me to Exodus 30. And, and we're going to read it briefly, beginning with verse 18. Here in Exodus 30, verse 18 says, Thou shalt also make a lava, a lava which is a tub of brass, and his foot also of brass, to wash withal. And thou shalt put in between the tabernacle of the congregation and the altar, and thou shalt put water therein. For Aaron and his sons shall wash their hands, wash their feet thereat. And when they go into the tabernacle of the congregation, thou shalt wash with water, that they die not. Or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burn offering made by fire unto the Lord. So they shall wash their hands, wash their feet, the die not, and it shall be a statue or a rule forever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout their generation. Here, the, 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 the purifying here, and if you read further down chapter 30, uh, you see it talks about the blood of the lamb and all that, but this is talking about how the the priest before he go into the tabernacle or temple or holies or holy how he should uh, wash be washed be washed and here's talking about washing in a tub and the and the only thing uh, the only other thought I have on it is when I believe in uh, 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 Psalms uh, turn with me right quick to Psalms uh, I believe Psalms 51 
And I believe this is where David himself makes a preference uh, to be uh, uh, to be washed. He says in uh, Isaiah in Psalm 51, uh, verse 7, say, "Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow." I, I want you to recognize that when you wash, it takes water. It takes water when you are washing something. You can't get the high soap that David is talking about here. I believe you couldn't get it going unless you have some water. So we, we're thinking that, of course, like I said, I prefer Brother John. The only way you'd be connected to the blood is in the water. The only way you can be connected in Jesus Christ is in the water. And when you're talking about the washing, See, after the wash, and, and, and the reason why they washed, the, the priest and, and his sons, uh, Aaron and his sons, so that they can enter into the temple, into the holies of holies. And if you can remember, when you read Matthew, the third chapter, let me turn with me there right quick. Matthew 3. Matthew 3. We'll get there, but just be patient, Brother Yark. We're there. <laughs> we are there this morning. Matthew 3. Well, it says that. <clears throat> Matthew 3. And it must begin with verse 13. He said, Then coming Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to baptize of thee, and cometh thou to me. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer not, suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh to us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and lightning upon him. And lo, the voice from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. What I want to say about that, you know, as we said in Exodus 30, the priest had to wash themselves before entering into the holy or the temple. And here Jesus had to be baptized, he said, to do what? To fulfill all righteousness. And we discussed a couple of shows ago that the law is fulfilled in Christ. So Christ had to fulfill the law when it came to the law. You know, since all the things pertaining uh, uh, to the law. And if Christ was never washed or baptized or met in the water with John the Baptist, he could not be that sacrificial lamb. Because he was the lamb that was offered. He took the place of the lamb that God told uh Aaron and his boys, if I may use that term, to offer up. Jesus offered himself as the lamb. Here he was washed in, by baptism. He was through his ministry, he was getting ready to be offered as a lamb. And here they, uh, Jesus, uh, the Bible going back in the Old Testament, God says, a lamb without spot or blemish. So Jesus was that lamb that was without sin, and when he died on the cross, he died once, once, once for us. He, he entered the holies of holies once for us. He died for us, taking our place. He was the sacrificial lamb, according uh, to uh, Isaiah 51. Now, when you read Isaiah 51, you can get more into that. 
And, and I, I'm wasting my time this morning discussing that, but I believe if, if you have a question and if Brother York can answer it, uh, I will try to do my best in answering it. Now, 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 going back to Hebrews, I don't have time to maybe uh, discuss uh, Hebrews a little bit. And, and uh, as always, I want to keep my show down to either 20, 25 minutes. If I go over, please forgive me. But let's just read a little bit of it in uh, Hebrews 8, verse. Let's begin with verse 8. Here, the Hebrew writer said, for finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judea, not according to the covenant I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. Or next time we're going to get off into uh, uh, discussing the people of God. Who are the people of God? And I believe the world have it confused because we have so many divisions, so many denominations, so many uh, false teachings out there when it comes to the uh, word of God and brother York just wants to uh, uh, say that we that are truly in the body and truly believe that we have the truth we need to let the world know that God is not divided we're going to end it here uh, as always uh, visit my webpage Austin York Publishing order a book order two I got two books there and again I remember what I discussed with you but the ark is open to doing gospel meetings doing fill-ins uh, whatever if you need a speaker I'm open up to that if you want to if you want to meet brother York in person he's he's open up to that you can leave a message on Facebook YouTube below and let me know uh, you all that are elders and deacons a part of leadership in the church Brother York is open to doing gospel meetings fill ins and meet someone for one Sunday to to fill in and give your your pulpit minister a rest or a vacation time uh, I, I'm, I'm there to do that also so uh, if you ever want to meet me in person let me know I'm open to it. Uh, let me know. Contact me through YouTube. Uh, let me know if I have a message. So let me know. We pray with me, please, our Father, which art in heaven, Lord, be thy name. Father, we thank you for this program. Father, we hope and pray that it has this reach and can reach others for you, Father, and that they may become a member of the body of Christ, Father. We pray for those that are not in the body that they become and and be added to the church and learn the message of salvation father because uh we recognize it's, it's important that they hear the message and be saved and for we pray that everyone have a good day a wonderful day a beautiful day and that they have a blessed day father in jesus name do we pray amen and amen as always and as always God loves you, and I do too. Have a good day. Praise Him. Give Him glory.